As you already know, I made my first pack. I've spent a lot of time working on this and tried to make it fully customizable so you can adjust everything and have more controls. You just need to double click the file provided, and then you'll have the presets under your effects and transitions tab in your library. You can directly drag the effect to your clip, and you will have every slider control you need right in the edit page. You can adjust every slider to find out what works for you. Also, I made every slider animatable so you can animate the value to create your own version. What I like to do is add an adjustment clip on top of my clips and then apply the effect to the adjustment clip. My favorite effect is the dither effect. As you can see, you have every control that you need. If you scroll down, you can uncheck the color box and the glow box. With the threshold slider, you can adjust the base of the effect. If you keyframe this slider, you'll get the animation I used for the title in the intro. Size slider is clear. It adjusts the size of the pattern. Same goes with the rotation slider. Increase the pixelate slider to increase the quality of the image. For this effect to work well, it's good to have some pixels, especially when you use it for text. The stop motion slider is useful to sell this effect, but if you don't want it, you can set it to 1. Then we have the highlights color controls, which, as you guessed, control the color of the highlights. Same goes for the shadow color controls. The gamma control does what it says, you control the gamma of the pattern. The alpha slider, in this case, is not useful, but if you want to use this effect on some text, then it's good to bring the slider down so the clip underneath can be visible. Another one I use a lot is the glass effect. Again, you can adjust everything, the glass position, size, and angle, the duplicates, the glow, the gain, and the threshold. You can also adjust the colors to your liking. Of course, you can animate any of the sliders to your liking. I made every effect and transition in that way so you can have multiple variations of each one, and I don't have to pretend that I made a mega pack with a thousand effects that are basically just variations of the same effect. I'll go through some of the effects. I included a mist filter, which I also use a lot. All the controls you need are in the inspector tab. The time-based effects are fun to play around with. Let's say the time reverse, what this is doing, it will reverse your clip for every given frame number. Now it will reverse the clip every 20 frames, and the reverse range is 8 frames. If I change it to every 10 frames and the range to 4, then I'll have this kind of effect. If I change the reverse range, I'll have a stronger reverse. The time random effect is doing exactly what the name says. The time loop is what I use more. Adjust the loop duration and the loop range, and you'll have this cool effect. You can also animate the sliders to get more creative. The video is getting long, so I will add some examples made with the time-based effects. I will go through some more effects, but you get the point, you can adjust and animate everything to create a lot more effects out of each one. Also, it's not forbidden to combine the effects, obviously. I tried to make this pack as good as I could. I never wanted to throw together some lame presets, the same recycled stuff with a fancy name, just to sell something, pretending it'll make you the best editor out there. This pack is more creative, it's got real variety, and at the very least, it'll help you stand out from the crowd. It won't make you edit the next Interstellar, but it will make your work look different from what everyone else is doing. Of course you can follow my tutorials and build most of these effects yourself. But grabbing the pack saves you time, and honestly, it helps me keep doing this in the long run. Because, as much as I'd love to survive on air and sun alone, support is always appreciated.